How was Matt born to train with? You always hear the stories. He was a pretty wild man. Oh, well, he was a great guy. He just uh, partied a little too much. Um, he used to, he's the one that came out with Doink the Clown. Me and him went to Venezuela and we wrestled as two do- two clowns. And uh, that was pretty interesting. He OD'd it in 2014 from a drug overdose. His, his dad was a pro wrestler and he was a great guy. But uh, yeah, his son died before his dad did. A lot of deaths in pro wrestling. Mike but, wants to know if you could give a Matt Bourne story. Well, what kind of stories do you want to hear? <laughs> I know Matt real good. I knew him real good. I hope he uh, rests in peace. He was a great guy. He's like Buzz. He was a little cocky. I mean, they was telling me how not to be cocky, but, I mean, they did have a lot of experience on me. <laughs> so I listened to it, but I could see they wasn't practicing what they was preaching. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Did you ever see him in one of his barroom fights? Oh, yeah. Matt was crazy. He gets six beers in him. He's ready to fight. And, you know, that's I ain't going to lie. I, I was about the same. But uh, that's why I haven't had a drink in 31 years, and I don't miss it a bit. What made you stop drinking? Was there one particular incident? Uh, just my wife. <laughs> yeah. She said she'd leave, and I said, well, I quit, and I did. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out by clicking the subscribe, like, and get notifications buttons on this video so you don't miss any of my upcoming news clips, shoot interviews, or match footage. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Hannibal TV. If you want to follow us on those platforms for instant updates.